Hey, it's Candy. Welcome back to my channel. So I saw Tina, I believe, open a Lola box and I had looked at them before and I wasn't sure, but this is going to maybe rival BoxyCharm. So this is the Lola box. We're going to try it out. It's $21 or $22 a month. Same as BoxyCharm. Okay, that's what it looks like. So we've got some products. Let me pull everything out and we'll see if this really will rival BoxyCharm. I believe I got a three month subscription just so I could, you know, try it out. You guys know I never try anything just once. So, all right, Masquerade, oh, the uh, Beauty is Universal is the theme. And Masquerade, Sheet Mask, All Nighter, Beauty Restore, and Detox Diva. Retail value of these three masks is 15 bucks, so three or five dollars a piece. So we've got the Masquerade Hydrating Facial Sheet Mask. This is the Beauty Restore. Hydrating Facial Sheet Mask, All Nighter, Awaken, Replenish replenish refresh and the detox diva cleanse exfoliate and detoxify sheet mask i'm not particularly like woohoo about these um i don't like sheet masks i don't like the feeling of the cold sheet on my face it feels weird to me i don't like it i do like peel off masks or like the bubble mask that i got from um matcha reserve i like those a lot but those sheet masks i'm not like super excited about all right next we're gonna go to glow by glory glow sticks honey bun 18 dollars is the retail value it's a semi matte liquid lipstick every glow girl and glow boys fave it says I've never heard of this brand. Cute packaging. Looks like a nice color. The color is Honey Bun. It, it's plastic though. Like a, it feels kind of a, like a cheap plastic to be honest. This is a color that I will wear though. It's a mauvey, mauvey brown. That's kind of my, I don't want to say my signature color, but I wear it a lot. I really like this color on me. I think it looks nice. It smells sweet. Not like chocolate, but sweet. Hmm, I'm not sure what that smells like. <laughs> uh, we'll let it dry, see if it's transfer proof. It's supposed to dry down matte. Add a dash of moisture before applying. You'll be ready to glow, doll. For extreme intensity, let the first layer dry, then reapply. Okay. All right. Uh, next thing we have is Kaylin Cosmetics Just Mineral Eye Polish in Bronze. Made with 100% raw mineral powder, this highly pigmented satiny powder not only colors your eyes with shimmery, gorgeous hues, but it's also safe to wear for long hours. Easy to use built-in sponge tip allows smooth application and seamless blending of colors. This Just Mineral Eye Polish can be used as an eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara, lip, or nails, so it's safe for all of those, which is kind of rare. And I'm dumb. <laughs> I opened the small end, so I just crushed the box. It says, yeah, it says it's safe for eyes and everything. So here's what the thing looks like. Again, really cheap, like, feeling plastic. Here's what the applicator looks like. Okay. So it's a little sponge applicator, and you stick it in, and it's just, it's basically just glittery pigment. Hmm. It doesn't seem to 
Okay, you can see that it's it's glitter, right? Well, it definitely transfers onto my finger, but not a lot. It blends out, but not a huge amount of like fallout like you might expect. I'll put that aside and we'll maybe use that tomorrow. Um, I'll probably do a look with this stuff tomorrow. I'm home from work just now, so like I'll probably do a look in the morning. All right, the next thing is Hikari Cosmetics Mascara. I have heard of Hikari before. Um, this is $15. This is also $15. So this is a jet black mascara. Just a plastic square mascara tube. Standard mascara wand. Standard mascara. Ooh. Kind of smells like ass. That's gross. Yeah, that smells bad. I don't like that. Um, this looks like regular mascara. Create fuller standout lashes. These easy to use handle and our lengthening brush. Fan out your lashes to create a bold statement. Our mascara comes in two different colors for those with who prefer more than one option. Okay. It looks like a standard mascara to me. Can you tell I'm not like super excited about this right now? All right, and finally, this is by Beauty Creations. Um, isn't that who made that palette over there? Oh, that's Beauty Glazed. Okay, never mind. Um, I've heard of Beauty Creations, I'm just not sure where. So, it's a little bit of dirtiness on the outside. It's not bad on the inside though. So this is the Tease Me palette. With the seductive colors of Tease Me, be ready to always have a sexy look. So there's one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten matte shades. One, two, three, four, but three glitterish shades. And then one, two, three, four, five duochrome shades. At least that's what it looks like to me. Uh, these are, you know, standard matte palettes. This is not drying down at all. Oh. My neighbor's dog is barking. Can you hear him? Ugh, what a mess. <laughs> you don't like it. Get it off me. Cool. Stay my skin. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, now it came off. Alright. Took some scrubbing, but it came off. So the colors are lies, blissful, pleasure, kiss me, innocent, fire, sexy, orgasm, tempting, charming, nude, seduce me, please me, peaches, classy, dare me, lust, and desire. Those are the colors. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna swatch, you know, three or four of them. We're gonna do sexy, tempting, please me, and Dare Me. These are some of the duo chrome shimmery shades. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. All right. Hold up. I may have judged too quickly. Those look really nice. So we've got Sexy, Tempting, Please Me, and Dare Me. I ain't mad at that. I'm going to wipe my fingers off. We're going to do a couple more. So those are some of the um, shimmery shades. We're going to do Kiss Me and Fire, which have a little bit of sparkle in them. And then Peaches, which is a matte, and Charming, which is a, a matte. So Kiss Me and Fire. Peaches and charming K 
can't really see a lot of shimmer in Kiss Me and Fire. It's more in the pan than it is, you know, on on my hand, but still, that's gonna I could do a really nice look out of this. I'm 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 excited to do this in the morning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back in the morning and I'll do a look with these. Um, we'll use the palette. We'll try that eye topper. Um, did it say we could use it anywhere? <sighs> Not only colors your eyes with shimmery, gorgeous hues, but is also safe to wear long hours. Easy to build, easy to use built-in sponge, allows smooth application, seamless blending. Can be used as eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara lips or nails okay so maybe we'll put it on my lips or we'll use it as a highlight on my cheeks we'll try that and we'll try that mascara and I'm gonna pass these masks on to the giveaway pile because I just don't I, I'm just not into masks you guys I'm sorry I don't mask this <laughs> hi guys okay I'm ready to use the products from my Lola box um, I'm also trying out <laughs> some shop miss a products so if my face looks crazy that's why I, I already hate the brows so <laughs> I have put BB cream on I have primed my eyes and done my eyebrows and so let's start this I look um, since we want to do this gold topper um, I think we're gonna go with kind of a brownish eye so I'm gonna go in and we're gonna start with blissful which is the second shade all over my eye not a bad color it's kind of like um, a lighter orangey brown on my skin which is not bad there's a lot of kick up in the pan I don't know can you see that a lot of kick up with just a light tap into it all right next we're gonna go in with charming which is a nice brown and I'm just gonna go on the outside the outer portion of my eye you know you guys some of you say it's painful to watch me put makeup on and I apologize I just really love makeup and I I like sharing it so basically I'm just kinda doing a bar of color on the outside here and then I'm gonna blend it in I'm still trying to decide what I want to do with this I know I want to do a topper type thing but do I want to do like a halo eye okay I'm gonna go in with innocent and I'm just gonna put that down in on my lid now I'm gonna blend I feel like this eye is a little bit darker so I'm going to add a little bit more color on this one and blend it over there we go okay so now we're going to take this eye polish <laughs> And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do like a circle-ish on my eyelid. So, see that? Hmm. Maybe I should have 
painted some concealer first. It's very pretty. I'm, I'm just going to do my whole lid, I think. Yeah. haven't done my under eyes yet, so that's good. <laughs> Alright, so I just painted it on my lid. It's pretty, it's a little bit subtle, which is fine with me. I don't know. Um... I'm going to go back into the palette and use Kiss Me as my brow highlight. It's not my favorite eye look, but we haven't done everything yet, so I'm going to go off camera, do eyeliner and concealer, and I'll come back. Alright guys, I have put blush on, I've finished my eyes, um, I do need to put on mascara, but where'd the sparkle go? Where did it go? It's gone. There's like very little of it left. I don't understand. It's transferred and <laughs> it just looks crazy. So I am going to take this and pop this into the, my corners. And we'll see how long that lasts. I'm not sure how to feel about this. I don't feel like it's working correctly, but maybe I'm doing it wrong. I don't know. So let's try this mascara. This is from Hakari. I think it does a decent job of getting product onto the lashes. I'm not having to like work super hard. It was pretty easy on the bottom lashes too. My chair is I'm kind of sitting on the edge of it, and so it's making noise. All right. There we go. There's that. Kind of. <sighs> So I did wear this lipstick yesterday, and the problem that I had with it is it bled all over my mouth, and I have I don't have that problem with lipstick ever, and so that was super annoying, but we're going to try it again today. I'm going to see if I can maybe go on not so thick. It never dried down yesterday either. It was all day, or until I took it off, because I did take it off. It was kind of tacky.
Again, this is Glow by Glory. The color is Honey Bun. So I used Honey Pink on my cheeks, which is the blush, and Honey Bun. Alright. So there's that. It's not terrible. Um, I'm going to grab some highlight. Because <clears throat> I like highlight a lot. I like it. This highlight palette is a mess. Like, look how messy it is. <laughs> uh, let's go into Dream. This highlight palette is from Shop Hush. It is the Unicorn palette. I like this brush. It looks nice. I get a lot of comments about my nose highlight. I freaking love a nose highlight, man. It's so cute. Alright, so my thoughts after application. Um, the mascara is fine. It's just a mascara. Like, it's nothing spectacular. I don't think it, like, lengthened or volumed my lashes. Um, oh, apparently my card is almost out. Good lord. This is what I get for doing too much stuff. Anyway, let me finish up. Um, this, I don't know about. Like, we'll see if this lasts throughout the day. This palette is fine. It's, it's decent. It's nothing that I don't already have. And I don't like this. I don't like this at all. It stays tacky all day. It, like I said yesterday, got all over my face. And I hated that. Lola, what are you doing, girl? Let's figure this out. Maybe next month will be better. Uh, I think I signed up for three months, so we'll give it a try.